Cheryl, you asked why this is happening in that video where you were following the ambulance. You said, why God, why? Why is this happening? And I believe that it's happening because we're choosing for it to happen. And it's happening the way we're choosing it to happen, whether we realize it or not. And we're putting ourselves through everything that we're putting ourselves through whether we realize it or not. And I think that cancer comes from stress and disconnect. And I see the disconnect between you and your mom. I see the distraction of money. I see that you named your dog Baby, the hierarchy of family members, mother, daughter, baby. I think that the disconnect between you and your mom is real and is the cause of a lot of the tension. When she said to you in that video that she had in the hospital that you still looked pretty, she, she was telling you about it and you, you were interested in it and then she said you still look pretty and you just made a face because you've probably been hearing that your whole life. But there's more. It goes deeper. And she in that moment didn't communicate it with you because she's afraid of going deeper and talking to you. People are probably afraid because you're afraid. Because it hasn't happened. Or it hasn't happened in a while. We're choosing everything. I'm Ian, by the way. I didn't, I didn't tell you that. I'm Ian Crossland. Um, Cheryl Schumann, I assume. We, Cheryl, we're really, really making all of this happen with our words. You are an intelligent, healthy person. And things are getting better. Things are constantly getting better. I think that this is going to be a rebirth for you, is a rebirth for you. You are rebirthing now. All of this, you will come out of it a different person, completely. Finances are not something to worry about. Everything is going to work out. It always does. There's, there's more. Your daughter, this is a choice for you to connect with her so there is a choice you can make out of love and a choice you can make out of fear and if you're not calling if you're not confronting it and it's on your mind then it's fear I think the choice of confronting the situation and saying what's in your mind that you haven't said you got to let it out. you got to lay it out. Just lay it out. As soon as it starts, just lay it out. All right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. See you.